Gail with Everything Nash here with Chase Rice again. I love talking to you so much, my friend. It's always good to see you. Yeah, good talking to you too. Okay, so Key West in Colorado is out now. I want you to kind of give me the story behind it. And also you said, which this is kind of surprising to me, this is the favorite song you've ever written. Yeah, uh, Key West in Colorado is my favorite song that I've ever put out. And why I said that is um, I've written other songs, you know, Carolina Can, Jack Daniels and Jesus that are, I could look back on so far in my career and think, okay, the songwriting in that one, just how personal it is, um, and maybe a little more um, close to me. Um, but Key West and Colorado, from the production, the way we wrote it, to just this new phase of my life, it is absolutely my favorite song that I've ever put out to date, and that will not last. There's a couple of the songs that I'm more fired up to get out from this album, um, just because this album is so much more, um, I don't know, it's just, it's a figured, more figured out version of me from the songs to the production, the way we recorded it, all that. Okay, so what can you tell us about the new album? It's, um, uh, it's going to be 10 to 13 songs, somewhere around there. We wrote all the songs on acoustic guitar, which is different. I, I started writing songs on acoustic guitar, 10 plus years ago and then the track guys came in and changed country music forever um for better or for worse that's for other people to decide but that was a world that i got drawn into because it was new and fresh and, and really really cool for me back then and now that's not what i want to do i just listened to other music a lot over the last two years um through covid and being off the road that I wanted to get back to more of acoustic guitar for me. And, and that's where I really found that's what I do best is when I start a song with an acoustic guitar. So we wrote the whole record like that. Half of it was written in Montana. Um, some of it was written in Florida, Alabama, and only one song from this album. Well, actually, no, I take that back. Three songs from this album were written in Nashville. So it is me at my best because I was relaxed. I was just, there was no pressure to, do this song for a live show, do this song for that. Um, it was more just, Hey, let's just only put songs on this album that I really genuinely love. And then we produced it with Oscar Charles. First album I've ever had. We're only one producers on the album. Oscar Charles is pretty new to the scene and he's unbelievable. He's crazy talented with how he, you know, brings a live band together. And that's what we did. And we did it in my house in Nashville. So it was a very, very different process completely for my whole career which I was going to ask you about next. This is the first one you did in your house. Was that because of COVID or because you felt most peaceful there? Or what was the reasoning behind that? Just because it seemed like a fun idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was songs. It wasn't because of COVID. Um, I was going, over, going over songs with Oscar and he said, well, where are you thinking about doing this? And in my head, I was like, man, I just do not want to do a regular studio. Like maybe let's find something out West possibly maybe do it in my house and i never said that and then all of a sudden he says he's sitting in a swivel chair in my kitchen and he just swivels around and looks at the liver and looks up as soon as he did that i was like okay him and i are on the same page here let's go um yeah and that's how that's how the conversation started and we made it happen we got a lot of pictures coming out a lot of we got a whole documentary coming out about how the whole album was created um and it just, it allowed us to work till three in the morning. We had no hours. Um, and I, um, yeah, I mean, I was really comfortable, obviously, in my own home. And I was surprised. I love that you're doing new music. Do we know when it's coming out, by the way? Do we have any either, idea? I would say either December or January. Okay, okay. Because you released the album last year, and that had, what did it have, 15 songs, right? So you had, you released this big album and then you were like, oh, I still have more to say. Yeah, and that album was released in parts. That was a chapter in my career that I want to close. Um, not because it was bad, but because that's just a period in life where everybody's done with it. You know, this, this pandemic's over. Um, and that was all written, produced, kind of put out three different parts during the pandemic, which was really cool. It allowed me to continue to connect with fans. But with that being in the rear view, um, I did a lot of writing towards the end of the pandemic that is really, really good. And I wanted to get that out and get a whole new 
chapter of my career out there that's just I think you're going to hear is just a different quality. I feel like I say this every time I talk to you and every time it's a little more true. If there is an artist who says, I'm going to do it my way, it's you. Yeah. Um, and I've got a lot of great people around, around me to let, let that happen. Um, the downside of that is, you know, sometimes I can take wrong turns and that happens, but I'd say the best thing I've done is learn from those wrong turns and that all to this album. I'm not going to put an album out with – my dad's going to be the album cover. Um, it's him double fist and two course banquets in the eighties right there in Wyoming. I'm not going to put the album out with my dad as the album cover. He's not around anymore. Um, unless I think the music, uh, would make him proud and be up to that, that standard that he would have in anything in life. So this is good stuff. All right. Last question. I'll let you go so you can start driving again. You open for Kane Brown, Jason Aldean, you're doing your own shows. Just what is touring life like for Chase Rice right now? It's all over the place. Yeah, we did Kane earlier this year. Um, we were supposed to do McGraw, Rascal Flass, and all those guys, to, and then the pandemic shut that down. So it was really big for us to have a hit during the pandemic to to keep things rolling forward. I mean, careers are either going down or going up. They're usually not staying the same. Um, and ours has been going up for the last few years now. So to, to be able to get out of the pandemic with playing with Kane, doing our own shows, which has been huge, um, and now Al Dean, first time I've ever toured with him. That starts in October. We're doing a lot of stuff with Morgan this summer. Um, and Morgan and I got real close during the pandemic. We've gotten even closer through uh, the ups and downs of both our lives. And so it's been all over the map, but it's been all really, really good stuff. So next spring, we'll probably get back to doing more of our own stuff. Um, and then, you know, touring with all – there's a lot of great artists in country music that I love playing, playing shows with. And you can hold your own just as well. Good to see you, Chase. Thanks so much. Best of luck to you. Good talking to you.